Thanks for hanging out with us here on the Ultimate Betting Show. Under, if you're asking me which side, however, that is juiced crazy north of 200. That means you're risking north of 200 to win 100. The value's not there for me. The Wizards have nine wins. The Celtics have 39. Mm. But what happens with a really bad team against one of the best MVP? They catch a ton of points. The Wizards are covering at the third highest rate, third most profitable team. Mm. And that's because they're catching so many points. I'm not going to lay 17 and a half. What I will do is go with the Celtics over their team total, 126 and a half. You're risking 265 to 100. I don't see the value there. But what we do know is he wins on the ground with submission, with that jujitsu. So you can get him to win by submission around two to one. That's a much better payout. We have some of the teams on the board behind me here. Not a head coach is actually the favorite. Any other team is an option. How about Dallas? You talked about the defense. They have the offense. I know they're in the playoffs, but maybe they get rid of Mike McCarthy. That that could be something out of left field. What about Dallas and Belichick? Ooh, that could be something out of left field. That would be crazy. Big one over Memphis, but don't think we forgot about that Lakers loss without AD, without LeBron. And now you're facing an Atlanta squad that you want to be careful looking at small sample size. But keep in mind, they have won four of their last five against the Lakers when LeBron was playing against the Suns and then took the Warriors into overtime. Steph dropped 60 and guess who won? The Hawks still came out with the yeah. dub. You talk about their defense. Their defense has been solid. They're one of the best teams at limiting shots on net. The issue is their goaltending isn't great, which is why they're considered to be a weaker defense. We keep talking about saving yourself juice. Now this is juiced at minus 120, but that's because the Mets are massive favorites on the money line. So I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to go with the better pitcher who had a one 39 ERA Woo. in July. Crushing for him because there is so much talent there, but something for them to look forward to, right? right. Now I'm going to go a little more negative here and just say that my pockets are very happy and thankful that Mac Jones was consistent doing one thing. Can you guess what that was? And Van Gagar just finished the Dauphiné, which is basically the best indicator of how you're going to do in the Tour de France. Mm. And he not only beat everybody else, but he absolutely dominated them. Sammy, as you and I both know, Vegas odd makers don't just look at the last matchup when they make these lines. So what are they looking at to make Boston laying 180 here? What I'm going to do is cut this game in half. Pat's first half to cover. You're getting the hook over that key number of three. I understand what the bookmakers are trying to do in terms of liability with laying 300 for the round of 16. But Sammy Fee just said it. The Netherlands are far from dominant. Yeah. And their strength is in the midfield where USA has looked really good. They've allowed one goal in three matches. And that came off of a penalty kick ERA around 450. Expected ERA even worse, which means we should see negative regression. Now you're facing the best offense. It's not Tampa anymore. It is Atlanta. It's about that time for lunch line. So here we are. Sammy P, Claudia Bellafato with you. Plenty to talk about. We got NHL, NFL, NBA. But let's talk about Matt Eberflu first because oh. Sammy P he's keeping his job two of the top quarterbacks and Michael Penix Jr. and Caleb Williams however have you seen USC's defense their last three wins all by one score they barely beat California by one point got blown up by Notre Dame game of the week archers whip snakes and finally Trav they Fine. have shots on goal market because I have been waiting you for have. this one one of my favorites similar to hockey handicapping wise archers are laying 180 Sammy I don't want to drink that juice so instead we're going to go minus one and a half. They need to win by two or more, which they did last time they faced this squad back in July. They won 10-3. And that's because they have Brett Dobson in that, one of the best goalies. They have the best defense, top offense. There's a reason they have the best record in PLL. We'll be right back. But a quick reminder for more sports betting info, slide on over to nesandbets.com. Click on the odds page. There you'll get all the info for tonight's action from six of the top sports books in the game. Still to come. We go deep with the Atlanta Braves.